Hey guys, happy Avio Plasti Eve. Is that a thing? It is for me. I am scheduled for Avio Plasti tomorrow at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Peak Dental in Linwood. If you're a patient there or your staff member, hi, or tell them I said hi. I love the office manager. I think they love me now. At least I'm growing on them. They've been great. Ever since we settled our differences, they've been fantastic. So um, kudos to them for dealing with me and my abrasive attitude. Uh, it's all for the better good. Anyway, avioplasty. Why am I getting it? Why do I need it? Where do you get it? Who do you ask about it? What is it for? What does it benefit? What are the cons of it? What's the healing like? All those questions people have asked me and I didn't have the answers for them. So, you can get avioplasty through your dentist or your oral surgeon. Um, I don't know who else does it, but there might be other people that do it. I just don't know about them. In my world, it's the oral surgeon and the dentist. So, um, when do you get it? Well, you can get it at the time of your extractions, or you can get it after. For me, it happens to be after. And because I still have a root tip left up in there and I actually have rigid gum line oh, gross um that's why I need it and it's just as bad on the top if not a little bit um worse on the top so it, the reason that I'm getting it done is that when they take away all of the um, imperfections on the top, when they smooth it out, it makes your dentures fit a lot better. And so the reason that it happens like that is when they pull the tooth out, sometimes the bone is not as happy and it comes, it kind of breaks apart and leaves a jagged area on the top. And that's when you see those bumps and um, kind of peaks and valleys in your gums and what it can do is it can cause your dentures not to fit well It can lead to more adjustments. It can lead to your suction not being very good It can lead to your bottoms not seating well it, it can just it can cause things to be a little bit more frustrating so if it's an option Ask your dentist about it. Ask if uh, you're a good candidate and if you need it um some dentists are really great at pre-planning and they'll do it at the time of extraction where it helps the healing process and it cuts it down to just one procedure. So that sounds pretty good to me, but I didn't know if I needed it, so I had to wait. Um, what are the pros and cons? Well, I just kind of went over that of what it would do and um, why you need it, who you can ask. Um, let's see. I don't know that there are any cons. I mean, there's always a con when it comes into when, you know, opening up your gums comes into play. So what they do is they open up your gum flap and they take a little sander in there and they just shave it down. It's um, bone shaving. So they just shave it down, make sure that it's smooth, and then they sew it back up. Yay. <laughs> uh, so with that... I mean, there's always a risk of infection. There's always a risk of anything when you get any type of invasive procedure going on. So I don't know that there's any real bad side to it, except for just you lose a little bit of your ridge line in there. So um, if you have a very minimal ridge line to begin with, that might be something to think about because if you already have a lot of bone loss, it might not be something you're willing to do. So. I'm obviously no dentist or oral surgeon. So, on to the next one. Healing, all over the map. Some people will say it's worse than child labor. I've already gone through that three times. I'm not, I'm so over that. Um, some people they said they went back to work the next day or the same day, kudos to them for being champs. So I don't really know. I, I'm I'm preparing for it like it's going to be my extraction day. I have no idea. I've heard that the jaw can ache. I've heard that there's more swelling. I've heard there's less swelling. I've heard it doesn't hurt at all. I don't know. I think it's very individual to the person. So I'm treating it like it's another extraction day and going from there. So I have my trusty ibuprofen that I'm going to take right before my appointment. 
I have my Tylenol, but I'm not going to take that until afterwards because it can actually um, thin your blood and cause you to bleed more during your procedure and you don't need that. So I've got my lovely flower sack towels, which are awesome at soaking up drool. They're great. They're like a big drool sponge. I think you could get them at most grocery stores, Target, Walmart, all those places, and they're like two for five bucks or something. They're great. Flower sack towel. They're white, like linen, cotton. And, dun -dun -dun, my peas packs. These are great. I got them two for ten bucks at Rite Aid. So see the little balls in there? Those are glass beads. And what they do is this is a gel pack, and so it doesn't always, it doesn't get totally hard as rock. But it stays cold extra long. It actually is a hot therapy pack, too. So you can get it hot or you can get it cold. It um, keeps it hot or it's cold for a really long time. And it also will get cold extra fast. So you don't have to wait for it to freeze in the freezer. I have two of them. It's fantastic. It does a deep penetrating um, cold. So I love it. It's really, really helpful. You can even take an old bra and put one in each side and strap it to your head. And then you've got an ice pack holder. I saw that somewhere. It's not my original idea, so don't get me wrong. I'm not that smart. <laughs> um, so, enough of that, abioplasty. I'm having it done tomorrow. Hopefully I will not be a mess afterwards. I don't remember the extraction day, really. I don't remember getting home. I don't remember getting in my bed. All I know is that I woke up there several hours later. And that was a wonderful thing. Um... There were ice cold smoothies waiting for me as I woke up and that was the best feeling ever. This is like the best excuse to eat lots of ice cream and cold stuff. So I have to say that I am out of my denture fit and so that I have a um, relight it kit in there right now. Don't like it. I don't like the application. I don't like it that is potential harmful to you if you get it on your skin. I don't like mixing up um, being a home chemist. I do not like the taste. I do not like the smell. It doesn't last long. It can vary on the results. There's a lot of stuff about it I don't like, but it was a cheap alternative until products came in the mail. So it is out there if you can handle the smell. I used some baking soda in the water to try to get the taste to go away, and it helped a tad. Then I soaked it in mouthwash for a little bit, and that helped even more. So just a quick little tip if you have to use that stuff. It's a cheap alternative if you don't have anything at home. I mean, it's not horrible. I just have better products that I'm happy about and excited about. So on to that. I'm waiting for my next denture fit shipment to get here. So in the meantime, um, I want to talk about something else. I want to thank Margaret and Jen for being fantastic human beings. They have been, Margaret, I would not be where I am without Margaret. So she has really been an amazing um, role model for me and helped me get started. So lots of love, Margaret. You are an amazing, amazing, amazing friend. Thank you. And to Jen, the owner of Comfort Lighting. Thank you for sending me this. I'm so excited to try it. Um, I'm going to do that today before my avioplasty so that um, I can do a test run on it. I'm really excited about it. So I just want to make a note that Comfort Lining and Denture Fit are two different products. They are two in two different categories. They do not serve the same purpose. So Comfort Lining is totally different and they're not, com they're not comparable. They're, I think they're compatible which would be really, really cool. So I want to try them together. Um, so once I get some denture fit um, in the mail, which should be soon, I will do the anchor points and all of that stuff. But I'm going to take the Reline It kit out of my dentures. It's only been in there for two days. And it's already starting to peel off. Um, that is quality versus quantity. Um, and I'm going to try the comfort lining. I just have to thank Jen and Margaret again. You guys are champs. I totally love you guys. And I'm really excited to try this product and see how it works for me and um, go from there. But um, here it is. I'm going to do this before um, my avioplasty. I'm going to do it today so you guys can see what my experience is with it and how happy I am with it. Um, I'm really hoping that it 
holds up to the expectations that I have because I've seen uh, Margaret's reviews and it looks like it's fantastic. So I'm really hoping that I have the same experience with it. Um, I love the ingredients. It only has a few simple ingredients and it's also a startup business, which I think is great. And it's an alternative to what's out there. And that to me is super important that there's also alternative methods out there for people than your standard loading up on your adhesives. So I'm going to get off of here, get this ready to do the comfort lining, and I will take the uh, reline it out of my dentures and go from there. Anyway, I just wanted to say happy pre avioplasty Eve, and I will check in tomorrow. Can't make any promises. It could be a complete nightmare, and I might be just a post-conscious sedation out of my wits. I don't know. But I will definitely check in if I don't sleep it all off. We'll see what happens. But see you with the comfort lining.